Wait, there's only one bed. I just asked my dad about the bed. Thank you. He said we should be fine with one bed since we're dating. He didn't answer my question at all. Well, I'll sleep on the sofa then. That sofa is pretty fluffy, so... N no, you'll get hurt if you sleep on the sofa. But, Mirai-san, you don't want to, right? I mean, we could if we were really dating, but we're not, so... I I'm cool with it. Huh? Nanakuma. He looks introverted. His mind is introverted. His name is... That's, uh, just a phrase I heard somewhere. My name is Naoto Kashiwa. I'm a university student, and I'm in the student council for a school festival. I tried to change myself when I got into university, but I failed. As you can see, I'm introverted, and I don't have many friends. I'm always alone. And... Naoto! Y yes what is it? You made these documents, right? Yes, I did. The school festival date is wrong, and some of the names for student clubs are also wrong. Huh? Fix it right away. Uh, sure! I finished fixing the documents a while ago, but I was so worried I made other mistakes that I kept reading them over and over again, and before I noticed it was getting late! Mirai-san... She isn't here anymore, is she? I'll just leave the documents here and give them to her tomorrow. Naoto, are you working on the documents this late? Oh, yeah, I kinda was. Could you check them? Oh, I'll look at them tomorrow. More importantly, do you have time after this? Huh? Well, I was just going to go home, but... Follow me then. So this is my boyfriend, Naoto Kashiwa, an underclass student in my university. I have a boyfriend, so I won't marry the guy you chose, Dad. Huh? Right? We're dating, right? Uh, yes! I'm dating your daughter. I feel like I have to agree with her for now. But I didn't hear anything about this beforehand. I just followed Mirai-san, and then we arrived to this fancy restaurant, and then her dad was here. I see. Do you understand now? There's no way I can agree with this. I'd think about it if Naoto was about to inherit a good company or something, but that's not the case, is it? W well yes My dad is a normal office worker, and my mom is a stay-at-home mom. Mirai, there's no reason for you to marry Naoto. Dad, you always think about what's best for your company. Don't you care about my happiness? You won't become poor if you marry someone who's in a good position in life. I'm thinking about your happiness, Mirai. You're lying! I won't do what you want! For God's sake, let me prove I'm right then. Huh? What are you saying? Mirai, Naoto, move in together. Huh? W why should we? You two were brought up in very different environments. You won't do well living together. And that's how I'll prove to you that I'm right. Hey, um, we're still in university. Living together is, uh... Got it. Mirai-san? I'll show you I'm happy living with Naoto and prove you wrong, Dad. I, I never would have guessed I'd live together with Mirai here. I'm sorry for bringing you into this mess, Naoto. I, it's okay, but I need some kind of an explanation. I can't really process all of this. You're right. So, my dad is the CEO of a big company. He tried to get me to marry this guy that would boost up his company, but I didn't want to, so I told him I have a boyfriend and then he said he wanted to meet him. Then I ran into you, so I just brought you with me. I I see. Ugh, if my dad would have just let it go then and there, we wouldn't have to take it this far. You don't want to live with me, do you? N no, I'm fine with it. To be honest, she is kind of strict, but I'm actually happy to get to live with the beautiful Mirai-san. Good. Well, it's a done deal then. Yeah. After that, the movers brought a lot of stuff and furniture into the apartment. After all of the furniture had been assembled and put into their places, we'd noticed something weird. Wait, there's only one bed. 
I just asked my dad about the bed. Thank you. He said we should be fine with one bed since we're dating. He didn't answer my question at all. Well, I'll sleep on the sofa then. That sofa is pretty fluffy, so... N no, you'll get hurt if you sleep on the sofa. But, Mirai-san, you don't want to, right? I mean, we could if we were really dating, but we're not, so... I I'm cool with it. Huh? It's better than you making mistakes all over the school festival student council's work. I mean, you make mistakes even when you've slept well. Y you're right. That reminds me, should we assemble the shelf you bought? Yeah, I should finish that one too, but it's kind of heavy, so it's hard to carry. I'll set it up by myself then. Huh? Done. Does it look good? Yes, you're manlier than I thought. Huh? I didn't know you were this reliable. R really? Thank you. Should we go to bed? I'm pretty tired from all this moving. Yeah, I'm a bit tired too, so let's call it a night. Okay, let's go to sleep together then. Sure. Not only are we just living together, but we're also sleeping together. I'm too embarrassed to look at Mirai-san, so I ended up sleeping with my back turned towards her. But I can still feel her body heat on my back, and that's also kind of embarrassing. I couldn't really sleep well last night, and neither could I concentrate on the lesson. Oh, you're back, huh, Naoto? I am. Hey, it smells good. And you're wearing... I'm making us dinner. I just started, so I'm nowhere near finished, though. Huh? I'm younger than you, so I'll be in charge of making you dinner. It's fine. I can cook, you know. But... Let's cook together, then. We'll be done faster if we do it together. Uh, sure. What should I do? You can start by cutting those vegetables. Okay. I've never really cooked before, but I can cut things. Ouch! Huh? Are you okay? I cut my finger a little bit, but I'm fine. No, you're not. Come here. I'll put a bandage on it. I'm sorry. I thought I'd help you, but I just ended up causing you more trouble. I know how you are, so I knew you'd mess something up. I didn't think you'd mess up so soon, though. <laughs> <laughs> Mirai-san always looks kind of scary when she's at school, so I never knew she laughed like this. Also, her hands are so thin and small and gorgeous. Are you okay? I already finished packing up your finger. I, I'm sorry. I'm good. Really? Let's continue cooking then. Um, I probably shouldn't use knives. Ah, uh, you're right. I can't risk you getting hurt worse. Hmm, wash the rice and then cook it. Got it. Um, how do you cook rice? Wash the rice? Sorry, do we have any dish soap? Uh, d dish soap? Why? Huh? I need to wash the rice, right? Uh, uh um, uh, are you serious? After that, Mirai-san taught me how to properly cook rice, but after Mirai-san left me alone, I thought it'd be a good idea to add some water, and the rice ended up looking like porridge. From that day on, I kept making all kinds of stupid mistakes, like forgetting laundry detergent when I tried to do laundry, and accidentally filling the bathtub with cold water. But Mirai-san never scolded me like she does at school. Instead, she just laughed and forgave me immediately. I started to like her more and more every day. Finally, a break. Naoto! What are you doing here? Huh? My break is starting, so... You still have an hour before your break. You're supposed to be at the field now. Look at the timetable. Huh? Oh, you're right! I, I'm on my way! Mirai-san is still strict to me when we're at the university. Why is she so nice at home? But I kind of like the difference. I wonder if we're really dating now. Mirai-san's dad thinks we are, but we're really not. I wonder what happens if Mirai-san falls for someone else. I truly resented the thought of Mirai-san being with someone else. I have to tell Mirai-san how I feel so I can officially become her boyfriend. But she chose me to be her fake boyfriend just because I happened to be there. 
the chance of her accepting my feelings is... Hey, did you hear about the after-party jinx? What's that? You know how there's fireworks during this school festival's after-party, right? They say that if you confess your love while watching the fireworks, you'll stay happily together for the rest of your lives. Th this is it! I decided to confess my love to Mirai-san during the festival after-party fireworks. It's just a saying, but somehow I felt like it could be true. That day, I worked really hard, and then I went to look for Mirai-san before the after-party. Oh, there she is! Mirai-san! Uh, who's that guy? I've never seen Mirai-san smile like that. Uh, could it be that someone else already confessed to her? Mirai-san's got a boyfriend now. That means I need to leave that apartment. Oh, here you are. Mirai-san. You can see the fireworks really well from here. I've been at this school for three years and I didn't know. Not many people know about this spot. Really? Mirai-san, I'll make sure to leave that apartment as soon as I can. Huh? W why You already have a boyfriend, right? I'd just be in your way if I stayed at that apartment. Naoto? What do you mean I have a boyfriend? Huh? Isn't that guy you were with your boyfriend? The guy I was with? Oh, you mean my brother? But, brother? No way! You really thought my brother was my boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend! Is that why you've been acting strangely? Oh, did it show on my face? As clear as diamond. Gosh, you're so easy to read. This is embarrassing! But if she doesn't have a boyfriend, that means I still have a chance, right? Anyways, it kind of sounds like you're bothered by me having a boyfriend. You're right. Really? Yes, because I like you. Uh, oh. After I started living with you, I started seeing all kinds of new sides of you, and I fell for you. You're a strict person at school, but super kind when we're at home. It feels like you're messing with me. I'm strict at school because the work we do concerns other people. When we're at home, it's just me, right? Anyway, is it true what you just said? It is. If you don't see this as a problem, would you please be my girlfriend? Trouble, huh? I... I do like you too. A bit. Kind of. Really? Yep. I guess now we're official. Y yes A few days later, I went to see Mirai-san's dad again. It turned out that her dad was just mad that I didn't greet him properly the first time we met. He also wasn't really going to force Mirai-san to marry someone if she already had a boyfriend. I was just caught off guard back then because it happened so suddenly. When I greeted him properly, he easily accepted our relationship. Now, Mirai-san and I live together in that apartment as a real couple.